HRTF has been around for a while, and while many are complaining about the FPS issues that have tagged along with it, many also love it for the improved directional sound. But does it actually help? To answer this, I loaded up a map by Ulytical. All you need to do is swipe, hear where the sound is, and try to guess where you heard the falling sound by swiping again to reveal where it actually was. Using this, I wanted to compare the audio headphone setting, since I have headphones, to the new HRTF setting. For the normal headphone setting, I didn't change anything like the super in-depth guides tell me to, because that's probably closer to what you have. I had this ranking system on how close I was to the actual sound. If when I swiped and revealed the green circle thing, if my crosshair was on this green bar, I marked it as a direct hit. If I swipe and it's within the circumference of the circle, then I would call it a hit. If it's outside of the circle, I would call it a miss. And if the green thing doesn't show up, then I call it a direct miss. That doesn't make sense. Now, I know this isn't accurate at replicating real game situations, but that's not exactly the point I'm trying to get across. I'm just trying to see which is more effective and fast at directing me to a sound. In a real game, you have a lot longer sound cue, and you know, the target is a person that's visible. Results? I'd say from this, HRTF gives you an edge. I made a spreadsheet which shows all my results again that you can find in the description. Right now, pay attention to the good audio section. I'll be comparing the columns a bit later. In both direct and normal hits, HRTF beat out headphones. And actually furthermore, for HRTF, I got a lot more close misses that I'll show right now. I wouldn't make a stat on it since close misses are subjective, but just note that with the bot rounds, the numbers don't always tell the full story. As in this case, HRTF was overall a lot better than the headphones, but it just didn't show up in the numbers. I was also curious between good headphones and bad headphones. I have these super luxe headphones that I just ordered to replace these cold, hard, terrible audio quality ATR headphones. The only downside is the custom cuffs I ordered don't really fit. After testing, I'd say the difference between good and bad quality headphones is actually larger than the difference between HRTF and headphone mode. As the difference between total hits with the two different headphones was 17, but when changing the audio setting, it was only 3 and 11. So from what I've seen, if you have lower grade headphones, having the HRTF setting will significantly help you find the source of audio faster. And on good quality headphones, it seems to help, but just not as much. 